Hey guys, this is Jake Kaiser, and welcome to my guide for the Demon Hunter class in Blizzard's upcoming RPG Diablo 3. In this video, I will be showcasing the various skills and playstyles of the Demon Hunter class currently available in the beta. The Demon Hunter is primarily a ranged class that starts with its signature weapon, the one-handed crossbow. These mini crossbows can actually be dual wielded for deadly attack speeds later on. The class also starts with a single attack skill, Hungering Arrow. This skill fires a magical arrow that can seek its target, and even has a chance to pierce through multiple enemies. The Demon Hunter has two resources which it can spend on skills. Hatred, which is the red half of the resource orb, and Discipline, which is the blue half. However, yellow skills, like Hungering Arrow, cost nothing to use, and actually generate hatred for spending on other skills. The next yellow attack skill that the Demon Hunter unlocks is Evasive Fire. This is a more defensive skill that will automatically make you do a backflip away from your target if you shoot within a certain range. If you look at the animation for this attack, a short beam shoots forward with every shot. That beam is a pretty good indicator of the range you have to be in to trigger the backflip. The next yellow attack is Bola Shot. This skill fires a projectile that will wrap around the enemy and then, after a slight delay, explodes to cause AoE damage to all enemies within a small radius. This is a great skill for clumps of enemies, and like all yellow skills, it's free to cast while generating hatred with each shot. Next is Entangling Shot. This attack fires a projectile that will strike two enemies at once, chaining them together and slowing them down. This skill has a lot of utility, while also causing decent damage due to hitting two enemies at a time. The last yellow skill available to the Demon Hunter in the beta is Grenades. This skill operates just how it sounds. You throw three grenades that explode for AoE damage after a slight delay. Once again, being a yellow skill, it's free to cast, making it a great source of spammable AoE damage against large groups of weak enemies. The distance that your character throws the grenades depends on how far away you click when activating it. The grenades will also obey physics by bouncing off of walls, going around corners, and even rolling down steps. Impale is the first of the red skills. Each of these skills costs hatred to activate. Impale allows the demon hunter to spend 25 hatred to throw a knife at the enemy, doing a modest amount of damage to a single target. It's a good skill to use on bosses early on, or for initially picking off a few enemies from a group. The next red skill is Rapid Fire. This skill fires off a volley of bolts or arrows in whichever direction your mouse pointer is located for as long as you hold down the button. However, it continuously drains hatred. This skill is good for suppressing groups or laying down some DPS on boss types. Next is Chakram. This skill sends out a whirling blade that will damage all enemies it passes through. This is the Demon Hunter's most powerful AoE skill in the beta, as it will decimate groups of enemies. However, due to its odd flight path, it's difficult to use against single enemies. The skill bears a slight resemblance to Blessed Hammer from Diablo 2. The final red skill available to the Demon Hunter in the beta is Elemental Arrow. This attack fires a large flaming arrow that can pierce through multiple enemies in a straight line. While best used in long corridors, it also shines as a good ranged DPS skill. The next skill available to the Demon Hunter is Caltrops. 
This is a utility skill, or blue skill, that uses discipline rather than hatred. Caltrips allows you to place down a trap that will snare any enemies that walk over it. It casts instantly and can even be used while moving if escape is necessary. Next is Vault. This utility skill allows the Demon Hunter to quickly tumble to another location. It has an extremely long range and can be used either for dodging attacks or quickly repositioning for a better line of sight. The last discipline skill available to the Demon Hunter in the beta is Shadow Power. This skill is a powerful self-buff that allows the Demon Hunter to attack much more quickly for a short amount of time. It's best used in situations where a quick boost in DPS is needed. Now let's take a look at a couple skill setups. This first build is using grenades, chakram, and caltrops to dominate large groups of enemies with overwhelming area of effect damage and slows. This would be a good choice for any demon hunter who is running with a group that needs some crowd control and AoE, but doesn't have a witch doctor or a wizard. This is a good example of how the demon hunter is not necessarily limited to just crossbow builds. This next build is a more straightforward one revolving around the use of the dual crossbows for high ranged DPS. By combining the damage of Elemental Arrow with some slow utility from Entangling Shot, the Demon Hunter is able to take down most of his enemies from a distance. Shadow Power is included as a DPS boost, while Vault fills in the last spot as an escape tool. One last set of skills available to the Demon Hunter are its passive skills. These four skills are currently available in the beta, although only one may be equipped at a time. Each one offers an always-on buff of some sort that can affect how your Demon Hunter plays. Thrill of the Hunt offers some free crowd control. Vengeance is useful for hatred-heavy builds. Tactical Advantage gives an edge to movement-based builds and Steady Aim gives a damage boost to long-range shooters. And that's it for the Demon Hunter. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, and also leave a comment letting me know which of the other four classes you'd like to see reviewed next. Till next time.